Good morning children, welcome back. This is day four of our week five phonics. So we're going to start off with quick write this morning. Okay, so when I say the sound, let's write it down. So, can you write for me ch for cheese? Next one, mm for strong. Next one, E for sleep. Next one, I for light. Remember it's I, G, H. Get them in the right order. Next one is O for moon. Next one is R for far. Next one is A for rain. Next one is O for boat. Next one is ow for how. Next one is ear for near. Next one is er for curl. Next one is or for more. Next one is oi for boil. Next one is v for that. Next one is qu for quit. And the last one is sh for shop. Okay, well done. Remember, if you're getting some of your tricky, uh, your trigraphs, letters in the wrong order, you need to keep practicing. Okay, so rub out your boards. Let's do our tricky words. First tricky word, can you write for me? She. She, she's a girl. Next one, me, me. Next one, my. Remember, me is with an E, my is with a Y. Next one, you. Next one, they. Next one, was. Next one, B. Very squeaky pen. Next one, all. That's this week's tricky word. And next one, he. And the last one, we. There we go, that's all our tricky words, well done. Okay, rub out your boards and let's practice writing some words. 
I'm not going to use phoneme frames today because we've got some polysyllabic compound words. I'm going to mix it all up um, for our digraph, uh, trigraph from yesterday. Eh. Okay. So the first word we are going to write is airbag. Airbag. Okay. So if it's more than one syllable, clap it out. Okay. Break it up. Airbag. Let's write that down. Airbag. So it starts with air. What's the next part? Bag. But it's one word, so we join it together. We don't need a finger space in the middle. Okay, airbag. What's an airbag? An airbag. It's something that's in your car that, save, that can save your life if you have an accident. The airbag pops out. Okay, so it stops you from going forward in the car if you have an accident. Okay, so airbag. Let's have a look. It is a compound word, yes. So if you split it where we clapped it, Air is a word and bag is a word, but when you join them together, it makes a new word, airbag. Okay, next word I'd like you to write is airbus. Airbus, what's an airbus? Airbus, I've never seen a bus in the air. Airbus is a big aeroplane, so that's why they call them an airbus because it has loads of passengers on there. Okay, airbus, break it up. Air bus. Air. What was the next part? Bus. B. A. S. And see if you can cut it. Yes, it is a compound word. Air is a word and bus is a word. Well done. Good spotting. Okay, the next one we're going to write is unfair. It is unfair that we cannot see our friends and family yet. Unfair. Okay, clap it out. Unfair. So first part is un. A, n, un, and then fair. Air trigraph. Okay, remember it's A, I, R, not I, A, A. So make sure you get those letters the right order. Okay, next one we're going to write, this is a tricky one, upstairs. Upstairs. I went upstairs. I'm upstairs. Upstairs. Okay, let's break it up. Upstairs. First part, up. Uh, up. Next part, stairs. S-t-airs, s-t-airs, air, and there's another sound at the end, upstairs, well done. Is that a compound word? Have a think, can you break it up into two parts? What was the part that we clapped? Upstairs, so we break it up from up, is up a word? Yep. Stairs. Yep, so it is a compound word. Well done. Okay, next word we're going to write is air sick. Air sick. When somebody gets sick on the plane, on a flight, like some people get car sick or seasick on a boat. Okay, and some people get air sick on a flight. So let's clap it out. Air sick. What's the first part? Air. Okay, write that down. Air. What was the next part? Sick. S. I. What kind of a k at the end of the word? Yep. K. Digraph. Air sick. Is it a compound word? Can you break it up where you clapped it? Air sick. Is air a word? Yep. Sick. Yep. Yes, it is. Air sick is a word. Okay. Next word we're going to write <clears throat> is haircut. Haircut. Clap it out. What's the first part? Yep. Well done. Haircut. First part is hair. Okay, let's clap out. Let's sound out hair. Air. 
what was the next part? Hair cut. Sound it out. K a t. K a t. Hair cut. Well done. Is it a compound word? I think so. If we split it where we clapped it, hair. Is that a word? Yep. Cut. Yep. So it is a compound word. Well done. Okay. Next word we're going to write is airport. Airport. I went to the airport to catch a flight. Airport. Okay. Let's clap it out. Airport. What's the first part? Air. Remember, try to do these by yourself by pausing the video. Air and then port. P. Ought. Which one makes the or sound? Do we remember? Yep. This one up here. Can you see? The or digraph. Okay. Airport. P. Or. Port. Okay, well done. Let's have a look. Is it a compound word? If we split it, where we clapped it, air is a word. Is port a word? Yes, it is. Port, where the ships, where the ships dock. Okay, port. Let's have a look. Last word we're going to write is hairband. Hairband. She has a hairband in her hair. Hair band. Let's clap it out. Hair band. First part is hair. Let's sound that out. Air trigraph. Band. B. A. Band. Band. Make sure you don't miss out any sounds. If you missed out the n, it will be hair bad. Did I say hair bad? Nope. So make sure you say the word and you sound it out carefully. Okay. Is it a compound word? Can we split it where we clapped it? Hair is a word. Yes. Band. Is band a word? Yes. Like a guitar band or a band, elastic band. Okay. Or um, any of those words. Yep. When you put them together, it makes a compound word. Well done. Okay, we're going to move on to a, a question today. So rub out your boards and get ready to read my question. Remember what we did the other day. Before you start reading, if you're struggling to blend some words, I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to put a circle around all the tricky words, all the digraphs, all the trigraphs so you can spot them before you start sounding out. Okay, so have a go at that. My question today is Try that one. Let's have a look. Remember, pause the video. Have a look at all the trigraphs, digraphs, and tricky words. Let's spot all the tricky words first. Where's the tricky words? You. Yep, that's one of our tricky words. Um, any more? Nope. Can you spot all the digraphs and trigraphs? Yep. Air and k digraph. Okay, so now let's go back and try and sound out and blend the words. Can you get get? Can you get air sick sick air sick air sick on a bus. Can you get air sick on a bus? That's my question. Can you get air sick on a bus? Think about it. 
What was air sick again? Yep, you get sick on a flight on an aeroplane when you're flying in the air. So can you get air sick on a bus? No, unless it's an air bus, but we didn't say air bus, we just said bus. Can you get air sick on a bus? No, you could get car sick on a bus, travel sick. Okay, but you can't get air sick because a bus is not flying through the air. Okay, well done, good reading. Right, rub out your boards and let's get ready to write our sentence for today. Okay, remember if it helps you to have your sound mat in front of you, use it. Otherwise, you can have a look at the sounds that I've put up around the board. If you can see them from there and it helps you to remember your graphemes, use it. Okay, so my sentence today is going to be, sentence fingers ready, the man was sitting on a big chair. Let's do that again. The man was sitting on a big chair. Your turn, the well done. Okay, pause the video, have a go at that by yourself. Use the sounds on your sound mat to help you for getting stuck. Okay, I've also got some around my board to help you if you can see them. I'm sorry, sometimes I get a bit of reflection from my window. Okay, if that helps might help just a little bit. So what was my sentence? The man was sitting on a big chair. Okay, what's the first word? The. The. Next word. The. Man. M -a -n. The man was. Tricky word. The man was sitting. Let's break it up. Sitting, okay. Sit, sit, ting, t, i, n, digraph, okay. Remember that one. The man was sitting on, o, n. The man was sitting on a, the man was sitting on a big, the man was sitting on a big chair. Ch air. The man was sitting on a big chair. Full stop. Okay, and then you can highlight and show me where all the tricky words, digraphs and trigraphs are as well. Okay, well done. Right, that was the end of today's session, children. I hope you enjoyed that. Let's have a look. Today, I'd like you to play a game on busy things called compound cutting. We did this last week as well. So we could practice looking and recognizing more compound words. You've just got to split the word in the middle where it makes two separate words, okay? So go on to LGFL Busy Things, click on Early Years, Mr. Stepper Group One, Phase two, three and four, basic letters and sounds. And in the further activity section, choose compound cutting. Now, just before you go, one final message is I've had a lot of mummies tell me on the phone this week that some children are spending way too much time on busy things or on phonics play. Okay, remember that the phonics sessions are only about 20, 25 minutes. And then you get an extra time of applying what we've practiced today in those games for about 10, maximum 15 minutes. You shouldn't be using busy things or phonics play all day or for hours and hours, okay? We need to be mindful of all the other activities that you need to do and the other people that are living with you as well. Some of you have got big grown up or younger brothers and sisters who also need to access home learning from home. Okay, and if you've only got one computer or tablet at home, it's not fair. Okay, so you need to make sure that you are limiting yourself to only 10, maximum 15 minutes. Some grown-ups are also working from home and they need their computer 
they need their laptop or tablets or devices as well. So make sure you are all taking turns, okay? It's not fair. I don't want to hear more complaints from parents saying that they are spending way too much time on busy things, okay? We just spend 10, 15 minutes just like we do at school, maximum 10, 15 minutes. We don't go any longer than that. It's not good for you. It's not good for your eyesight either, okay? So make sure you are taking turns and you are sharing your devices at home. Okay, I'll be finding out from parents next week when I'm making my phone calls again. Okay, hope you enjoyed today's session. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you back tomorrow morning. Take care. Bye.